hello and welcome back to another video here with me Mioni. Another news video today and it's all about Shadowbringers. In a recent interview with Polygon's own Julia Lee, of which the source will obviously be in the description of this video and you should totally check that out, Naoki Yoshida, the producer and director for Final Fantasy XIV, sat down with Polygon to answer some questions about Shadowbringers. So if you're on your commute or simply just don't have time to read this yourself, this is for you. Polygon asks, now that Stormblood is finally over, did you learn anything about the player base over the course of the expansion? Did they react to reveals and new mechanics the way you expected to? Yoshida replies, our players have already greatly surpassed our expectations in many ways. They have taken the world of Final Fantasy XIV in as something that is both perpetual and natural. The reason I say it in this way is that players from around the world not only play the content we create, but also organize events and roleplay on their own. One could say that many are taking residence in the world of Final Fantasy XIV, which is changing what we need to provide. It is no longer just about creating content, but also simply providing a space to play within. I believe this is both a very strong and positive outcome for an MMORPG. The reaction towards battle mechanics and other specifics are a very small factor in comparison to this bigger picture. And then we switch over to main storyline questions, with Polygon asking, what ever happened to Fordola? She ran off to take care of Ifrit, and we never saw her again. Is there a chance we might get more of her in the future? Unfortunately, now is still not the time to talk about Fordola's future. She is a tragic character who has lived an ill-fated destiny and made into a resonant. Eventually, there may come a time to depict what happened to her, but now is not yet the time. However, I don't think we'll ever forget her. Mm, that's kind of ominous. Hopefully they don't end up killing Fedola off. I mean, it's kind of inevitable, but I think she's probably one of the more interesting characters. The raid bosses for 2.0 and 3.0 introduced new mechanics that kept you on your toes for most of the battle. But the bosses in the 4.0 raids, like Kefka and Final Omega, often used mechanics in the second half of the fight that were present or similar to those in the first. Will the Eden raid in 5.0 be more similar in design to the earlier raids or closer to the 4.0 raids? Yoshi replies, We don't necessarily create raids that fall under some kind of overarching rule set we have in place. It is actually based more so on the preference of a content designer who is in charge of creating each of these raids. The examples you provided, both Kefka and Final Omega, were handled by the same person, so you might see some similarities between them, and that he laughs. One thing that we do need to be mindful of is the available resources for creating the content, such as graphics and programming. A very skillful content designer may be able to come up with new mechanics while keeping the resource costs low simply by finding an interesting way to reincorporate a previously used mechanic. We shall have to see how Eden pans out. That said, the staff who worked on Kefka and Final Omega are part of that production team too. That's certainly a very good answer. I'm really looking forward to the Eden series, actually. There's going to be some very interesting bosses, no doubt. Polygon asks, Final Fantasy XIV has a lot of cool outfits and accessories, and I'm sure Shadowbringers is going to bring about even more. Is there any plan to expand the glamour system to accommodate access to more items or even add more slots to the dresser? Will we ever be getting a glamour dresser furniture item for our homes? Players really love glamour. Yoshi replies, The amount you can store in a glamour dresser will be doubled from the original 200 to 400, and the number of glamour plates available will also be increased. These updates will come with a launch of Shadowbringers, but we will continue to update the glamour systems in the future as well. So that's actually a pretty solid response, and uh, we finally got an answer to that question. That one's been burning in the minds of most people who actually do fashion report. Well, this probably means I can free up one of my retainers, but uh, yeah, it's it's not really a permanent solution for many of us, but it's a start. Hopefully they just increase that. There's no mention of bag space here as well, which is a little concerning. And the last question, Polygon asks, who would you rather take on in a battle, Godbert or Julian? Yoshida replies, oof, this is a tough one. However, I still have a feeling that I can talk things out with Godbert. No matter who I choose, I don't feel like I could win, but the person I feel I could perhaps become friends with afterward would be Godbert. Probably. No matter what era, no matter the world, mothers are always strong. 
So there we go. And that was the interview with Polygon. We got some really interesting tidbits, actually. I really appreciate the four dollar question. That's something that's been in the back of my mind. It looks like we have quite a ways to go with that character. And I'm glad because killing characters off every expansion and not sort of drawing them out a little bit is a little bit annoying. I mentioned in a previous video how irritated I was with the death of Aulus, the mad scientist in the hover chair from the Alamigo dungeon, how basically he could have been fleshed out much more than he already was to be that sort of mad scientist Hojo sort of character, but instead they sort of got rid of him in a dungeon. We've sort of replaced him with nondescript nameless scientists that are working on the Black Rose and other things, but yeah, hopefully they flesh that part of the storyline out. It's cool to hear about the glamour dresses. It's also interesting to point how how he either intentionally or completely forgot to actually reply to the sub-question about if there'll ever be a glamour dress for your home. This is a highly requested feature. Last time it was asked, now Kiyoshida replied with some technical difficulties that are preventing it. Hopefully they've overcome that and we actually see that because having to go to an in-room every time is quite irritating for me personally. Either way, thank you kindly for watching this video. A link to this full article and all of the interview questions will be in the description of this video. Thank you once again to Polygon for this amazing journalism. So enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.